Welcome to the Indie Music Plus Podcast. This is episode 20. I'm Jojo Keys sitting here with Mr. I don't have a nickname for him tonight, David Werba. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I see you you have a little toy or you're or you no, it's just hung over. Right. I feel better. I feel better now. All right, I go and take it. Which one should I go with? <laughs> Which one should I go? I'm gonna go with Oh. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. Anyways. We have a little, uh, we have a new little rant uh, that we want to do yeah. in the beginning. I don't know if it's going to stay. This could be the only time we ever do it, but uh, it's like a new little little thing called local idiots, like local idiots of the place that you live. Um, and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona now, and I finally got away from Scottsdale, which just don't like it. It just drives me nuts. It's the What's people. the difference? I, that sounds like, uh, I don't want to get into political stuff, but it's really conservative, stuffy, cold. It's like very strange because it's very hot, warm with the weather, yet people tend to be cold. And I'm from Chicago. I'm open. You know, I like talking to people. I like getting in there. And... <laughs> But so here's here's the local idiot is uh, apparently soccer moms are handicapped now. Like I guess they qualify for being handicapped because they're parking in handicapped places because they got a couple kids with them, and if they have to run into the store, they they got the SUV and it's just kind of a you know it's a little bit of a puts them out a little. So they they sh- I guess that justifies parking in the handicap spot, right? If of course, soccer mom, I, why not? I don't know. Yeah. I, but I was, I, I was coming out of the store and I just looked over. It's just kind of had to look like, like this. And she looked back at me like, what the hell are you looking at me for? Like I deserve this spot. That was the look like, get the hell out of my face. I didn't even say anything, but it's just this like, pretentious Scottsdale you know lady but yeah that, that's my that's rant that's number funny. one so uh, I have another one but do you have any well that's one of my pet peeves man is when when people you know um, park in the handicapped spots and they don't have uh, you know one of the stickers or whatever and I've actually went up and called people out on it before um, which I've told you about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which, yeah, made me laugh. I yeah, was proud, like, was, proud was, to hear you did it. I was at CVS. What you did? Tell them what you did, oh, Joe. I was at CVS, and I'm kind of you know not taking shit from people anymore. So um, one of my one of my New Year's resolutions in May, you know, not really. No, it's been a while now, but um, I've always kind of been a pushover, sort of just too nice. So like when I see something that just irks me to no end, I at least just say something. I'm not violent. I don't go physical on it but at least you know speak up now and uh <laughs> so i saw this uh chick kind of you know not standing in the physical sense but parked in the um cvs uh handicapped parking spots and um i went up knocked on her window i was like are you handicapped you know after looking for the sticker and the license plate didn't see anything she's like no i'm just trying to get this send this text out i was like oh <laughs> double, you'll double, you're double parked in uh, handicapped spots. Kind of an asshole thing to do. And then I walked away. <laughs> so that's great, man. I mean, yeah, you, that's good to hear. All right. So my other thing is this whole. I don't know what the phrase is for him. If you have like a special needs dog, you know. Yeah, if, yeah. <laughs> I know some people. It's it's about. Uh, it started with just a, a lot. If you're blind, you need the dog. And then it's just over time, people have been able to get this certification or something because they have anxiety. Um, I don't want to like make fun of conditions. I don't understand some of them, but sure. I think it's gotten, I don't know. It, it seems like it's gotten gone a little too far where it's just like, <laughs> I get me. a little stressed out. And if I'd like to be able to have my dog with me because it, then I'm not as stressed. But now, like you can, 
it used to be you need to be blind to bring a dog into like a grocery store but and then it's kind of <laughs> it's just kind like, of like evolved personally. into like more I, I saw like four dogs in the grocery store like like separate i feel like the people were just they, they could see they it yeah the like that's the thing i was talking to the checkout guy and he's like man what is going on because this is like people are i think people are just walking their dog in the store and no one's asking him oh are you like a special needs like it's just assumed that they are special needs so that no one says anything and and then we're on this road to becoming like a pet smart at the grocery store what the hell's going on here that's my rant i don't know i think maybe we should listen to some music to um, yeah, yeah. calm our anxiety a little bit <laughs> <laughs> so we um, we're gonna start them. with uh this is a band that's uh come through the website this is um a little on the heavier side uh we've been having a lot of rock lately even though we're all genre uh we're an all genre website uh we promote all kinds of music uh, but this is a review that i'm working on right now and i thought that these guys were worth to listen uh, on the podcast this is me and my shadow your question's been answered Foundations there is gone nowhere. The longing for something more still remains. Does fortune favor the bone? Yeah, we get known still dragging around those fears. I look to the sky. Podcast. This is a landmark episode twenty. I never thought that I'd be able to do twenty episodes of this podcast, man. Really? I'm just letting you know. Wow. Yeah, we did a few before, like before uh, the wife and I did the first five episodes, the first four episodes, rather before you you came on. We did we did like ten before that, but even so, twenty episodes. That's pretty consistent. We've only it missed one week, first. and that was just because of you. So you know, uh, no. Hey, I'm proud of you, Joe. I mean. <laughs> I'll admit I came in pretty bold, you know. I didn't want to come in all shy. Like, hey, you know, hi guys, how you doing? Dave Werb over here. Wanted to come in strong, you know, with a strong personality. And uh, it seems to work. It, I think it works, man. I, I, I think it's, I think it's uh, growing into what's going to be a really, really fun thing. So It is fun. It's, I fun. Mean, it's fun now, but I think it's going to be even more fun. So I think every, every week is going to get better. And, uh, you know, so what do you think of uh, Me and My Shadow? Yeah, no, it's like the industrial rock, like, slash metal. I mean, it's kind of on that, that fence. Uh, it, it, just like a few other genres, it's not something I ever really got too deep into. Uh, so, like, music like this that I'm not too deep into the genre, I just look at the production, which is, it was, it was clean, man. It was tight. Mm -hmm. It sounded awesome. Um but the question I had for you, because you're more into this stuff, is like the vocal style, like, is there a certain vocal style that you think fits best with this music? No, not necessarily, because there's like, this is just like any other type of genre. There's gen many, many genres or different styles within the genre. I guess you should say many styles within the genre. And so like, these guys are sort of like 90s flavored to me um oh yeah so i i can deal with the vocals um uh, my wife on the other hand doesn't care for vocals like this so much but then like well like because this guy goes back and forth like he has like the vibrato sort of you know 90s metal sound but then they have some really really good moments where I, if you look yeah. at some of the other songs that they have it's like it's 
it's nothing like that. It's great. And I that, and I like that style as long as it's sung properly. And he does a good job. There's some places where his placements are a little bit off, um, in my opinion, but but I, I'm enjoying their music. Yeah, that, that was that that was what I was thinking about. And uh is uh, his voice is unique. It was cool, like it was interesting. Um, but I'm like, is that I wanted to just ask you, like, does that do you think that fits well with that that style of music? Yeah. Oh, I like think- I remember I, I I played in a band with uh, a real like short term band. It was just kind of an experiment and it was a harder rock band and the singer was like he was just he wanted so hard to be a rock singer, but he was not, you know. And he had a nice like soothing like he <laughs> he was like a it, it was just like a, a kind of a campfire type of like calm, mellow his voice would be perfect for and he was just pushing it too hard because he just wanted he just loved the genre so much he just wanted to like be hard rock but it he just didn't have the pipes for it and yeah. uh yeah so that i'm like it i don't know that that's just i i think about that a lot you know is like uh is like what's what certain vocals are best suited for like what style of music because ultimately i think bands make the mistake um that they choose a direction just because they just love a style of music so much and they don't really sit down and say hey you know i i don't i don't think i i have what it takes for like the sound that we want and that and that's not a statement on this song we just played mm -hmm. just, we're just kind of talking generally yeah. but anyway. yeah well i like that i like that genre like you're saying and i'm a big fan of like faith no more and stuff like that so like uh yeah, like some style of vocal styles like that, I cannot stand. But this guy was, I liked it. It's growing on me. Yeah, it is. So. It was cool. I enjoyed it. It was a cool song. Well produced, everything. So, who do we have next? Well, let's check out. I was going to say, let's check out the featured artist of the week. This is um, Radio Drive with his song, Taste of Heaven. episode 20 so i've known kevin for a while um i actually featured him on the joe sarah inc site uh, before it was in his like kind of pre-indie music plus um and this guy has worked with some really really heavy hitter names in the business um who they are i can't remember at this moment but um so if you look at his bio you'll see he's he's in saint paul and uh, he's worked with some some uh, Stuart Epps was one of them I remember. Um, Rick Astley uh, maybe. Other, what's that? Rick Astley maybe like that type of level. Big 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 time. I mean big Rick time. Astley is huge worldwide. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look him up, man. I'm I'm not sure if you realize who Rick Astley is. Sounds familiar, but now off the top of my head, no. Huge, like. Just enormous, man. I'm going to type him in the chat right now. Rick Astley. A-S-T-L-E-Y. Thank you very much. Um, no, but in terms of influences, like this was a little more clear to me. It was modern English, psychedelic furs, new order, Echo and the Bunnymen, that, that type of flavor. Like I felt mm. that, but... It wasn't like exact. I just, it, oh, and REM, of course, like that, 
kind of, it, it was like pieces of all that stuff and it was really really like i really liked it it made me feel good when i listened to it and uh so yeah and so you mentioned rem so oasis uh he worked with a producer of oasis once and i think it was this song that he was talking about that he wanted to get the feel for one of their songs um and yeah so that's the type of uh you know level that he's working at um the guy is like really active on twitter everything that we've ever promoted of him he's been uh, very responsive and so check out his music um he's awesome <laughs> i just did man what the hell are you talking about i know that's what i'm saying so well, let's we finish have, up. we got one more guy right yeah well so I was telling you earlier what I try to do lately with the podcast is do, of course we get, um, you know, the featured artist gets, gets prime uh, real estate in the podcast. Uh, but I also tried to pick um, somebody we've been promoting over the last week or two um, and also scrape somebody off of the podcast. Cause we also, we always have free submissions directly to our website on the submit to indie music plus uh, section of the website. And this is one that I came across. This is um, the lucky face with cele- celebrate. celebrate your f- what? Yeah, celebrate your face with, I mean, celebrate your face. Thank it's you. It's something that I, I've been trying to do for a few years now. I think every. Welcome to the Indie Music Plus Podcast. This is episode 20. I'm Jojo Keys sitting here with Mr. I don't have a nickname for him tonight, David Werba. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I see you ha- You have a little toy or you're or you no, it just, hungover. Right. I feel better. <laughs> feel better now. All right. I'm going to take it. Go with. <laughs> Which one should I go? I'm gonna go. With. Oh, oh, that's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. Anyways. We have a little. Uh, we have a new little rant uh, that we want to do. Yeah. In the beginning. I don't know if it's gonna stay. This could be the only time we ever do it. But uh, it's like a new little little thing called local idiots. Like local idiots of the place that you live. Um, and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona now, and I finally got away from Scottsdale, which just don't like it. It just drives me nuts. It's the What's people. the difference? I, Scottsdale is like, uh, I don't want to get into political stuff, but it's really conservative, stuffy, cold. It's like very strange because it's very hot, warm with the weather yet people tend to be cold and I'm from Chicago I'm open you know I like talking to people I like getting in there and but so here's here the local idiot is uh, apparently soccer moms are handicapped now like I guess they qualify for being handicapped because they're parking in handicapped places because they got a couple kids with them and if they have to run into the store they, they got the SUV and it's just kind of a you know, it's a little bit of a puts them out a little. So they, they sh- I guess that justifies parking in the handicap spot, right? If of course, soccer mom, I, why not? I don't know. Yeah, I, but I was, I, I was coming out of the store and I just looked over. It's just kind of had to look like like this, and she looked back at me like, "What the hell are you looking at me for? Like I deserve this spot." That was the look, like. Get the hell out of my face. I didn't even say anything. But it's just this like pretentious Scottsdale, you know, lady. But yeah, that, that's my, that's rant that's number funny. one. So uh, I have another one, but do you have any? Well, that's one of my pet peeves, man, is when, when people, you know, um, park in the handicapped spots and they don't have, uh, you know, one of the stickers or whatever. And I've actually went up and called people out on it before, um, which I've told you about. <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah, made me laugh. I yeah. Was proud, like, I was proud this, to hear you did it. I was at CVS. What you did. Tell them what you did, oh, Joe. I was at CVS, and I'm kind of, you know, 
not taking shit from people anymore. So um, one of my one of my New Year's resolutions in May. Hey Joe, your hair looks glorious, by the way. Oh well, thank you very much. I've been working really hard at it. Yeah, I mean, just the way it's just like draped over the shoulders, it's glorious. Well, you told me to let it go, you know, so I thought yeah, I'd let it go. Time, it's time to let it go. You're at that age, late thirties. Yeah, uh, I'm at that age of almost forty. Yeah, you gotta let it, just let it go, man. Um, cool. Well. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody, on the 20th episode of the uh, Indie Music Plus podcast. Uh, everybody that's here, click in the link to the uh, music Musicians Roundtable tonight. We're listening to, to your music. It's Feedback Alley time. So we'll catch you over there. And uh, every week, 9 o'clock Eastern time on Blab, we record the podcast. They have a Musicians Roundtable right after. Do you look like you want to fart or something, man? No. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm like... <laughs> I don't fart. I'm just one of those people. I just don't fart. I'm just that cool. Interesting. I'm that you cool. Eat that man. Good. Yeah, just I don't. I don't fart. I don't go number two in the bathroom ever. I'm that cool. No, but we've been talking a little about Spotify and. All right. You can't cool. get all the the show, like every show, we got you know, you got to come to the round table. That's where the magic happens. Yep. You got it. All right.